Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my new place. Yes, I did move to a new spot. You guys have probably seen every single corner of my old place. It was only a 500 square foot studio. And can you believe they wanted to increase my rent from 2,300 a month to 4,000 a month for a 500 square foot studio. That is ridiculous. So this is a new, bigger, and brighter space, as you can see. That way I can make better content for you guys. But let's talk about my pickups, shall we? We got a mix of clothing, and we got a mix of interior design related to fashion and clothing. And this video is brought to you by Lululemon. More on them later. For my first pickup, we actually have this patchwork jacket right here from Fundamental. And just look at how beautiful this piece is. The details, the construction, it's a pleasure to wear this and it better be for that price. So I actually picked up this jacket from a brand called Proper. I guess it's sort of an online consignment shop because the actual Fundamental site was missing my size. I believe it's a size three. And so yeah, I ended up on Proper's site. I got my size, it fits great. And I was actually able to find a discount code to save some more money. This piece has so many tasteful dashes of color. This brown area really pops because brown is a complimentary color to the darker blue and the inside has this mesh lining which makes it more breathable and so I'd say this piece can be worn for most of the year. The only disappointing part is the patchwork isn't actually patchwork. It's basically a graphic printed on a really nice piece constructed very well but just think of this as a graphic print. A little bit disappointing would have been nice to see some patchwork but it does look really cool. This piece pairs very well with trousers and definitely will shine with a hoodie underneath. Okay next up we got some more beanies. My go-to's are from Amazon. That's where these are from. I got a maroon one and then a black one, but I can't seem to find it because I'm still trying to get settled. But these are just to replace my old beanies. The old beanies I had were perfectly fine, but I just prefer the shape of these two. Uh, these are the same ones, by the way. I prefer the shape of these ones much more. And so I'll be donating my old beanies to family members. Whenever it comes to beanies, everyone has a unique head shape. So I'm always on the search for something that'll suit my head shape a lot better. And I definitely think these are it. Whenever you guys get into beanies, just be careful. It can become addictive. You'll be on a search for a good while for finding the right shape. So just a little bit of trial and error will go a long way and you'll find a piece that'll suit you. All right, next up is this piece from the Richie Lee collection. Shout out to the boys out there in the PNW. They sent me a lot of pieces from the recent drop, but I really want to highlight this jacket right here. So it kind of has that Saint Laurent teddy jacket feel, but you know, just in a different font. We got a more cropped look, some cool details with the leather pull tabs on the zippers, the hardware, its weight. This piece is actually quite thick and cozy. I think this piece will look great with some high-waisted trousers. Great job, guys. Okay, so this video is brought to you by Lululemon, and I think these next pieces are perfect for the upcoming fall weather. So right now, you guys are seeing me wear their crew necks right here, and these are absolutely killer. First up, just take a look at the design. What I really appreciate is that it's not just one solid color fabric. So at least with this black one right here, the fabric actually looks like stacked bricks. It provides some texture, the light hits it a little bit different. You know, it's kind of like pleated work. A solid colored piece versus a pleated piece, they both look different, the light hits it differently, casting different shadows and it just makes a piece much more interesting this one right here is actually the stone version and this one actually has a different texture compared to this black one but it does have a graphic on it and honestly that graphic on there actually gives it a more futuristic look which i think is really cool and yeah with this black piece that textured look is definitely what you want especially when you wear all black you always want some different textures going and who doesn't love this thick collar right here it's a really nice touch the drop shoulder really emphasizes the casualness yet it still gives you the performance with the abrasion resistant fabric, four-way stretch, sweat wicking, and quick drying capabilities. So I can easily get a lift in, you know, do some training, while at the same time, I can just chill. I can play some pool. Plus, take a look at how good it looks on a fit. You can't beat that type of versatility. We also got some ventilation, a locker loop that doesn't damage the garments, and your standard kangaroo pocket, but with a zipper. We've all had those moments where something has dropped in the toilet. And the final feature I really appreciate is the anti-stink zinc. When you train hard, you're gonna smell. And this just prevents odor buildup so you don't have to wash your garment as much, prolonging the entire life of this piece. Now, I did get a size large. I honestly probably could have got a medium. I am five foot seven, 160 pounds, but I'm cool with this size large. It's much more cozy, so I highly recommend this. Let's move on to the next pieces, which are the two joggers that I got from them. We got the At Ease jogger and the ABC jogger for those that wear a 28 to 30 inseam. 
perfect for a short guy like me. So the Adidas jogger is actually a good middle ground for performance and just everyday casual wear. We got breathability, four-way stretch, but it has a soft fabric look, making these more of an item you can wear in a fit instead of just all performance for just hitting the gym. The draw cord can be worn inside out, which I love when brands do that. They give you options. And I got it in this dark olive colorway, which pairs perfectly with the crew necks I got. Now, the ABC jogger focuses more on performance. There's shape retention, wrinkle resistance, four-way stretch, moisture wicking, and quick drying capabilities. Both of the joggers are in a size medium. Both can be worn in all types of fits. Definitely gonna be worn a lot this fall. And my last pickup from Lululemon is actually their three-quarter shirt. So this feels like your normal shirt whenever you put it on much softer though, but that three quarter sleeve is actually a really cool look. It rises up just enough to not cover a watch or bracelets. And because of that sleeve, it can almost stand as a statement piece on a fits while being very simple. So if any of these pieces catches your eye, I'll leave links in the description where you guys can pick some up, click all of those links, open a bunch of different tabs and full transparency. If you guys do make a purchase, I do get a small kickback, which does go back to supporting the channel. I really don't think you can go wrong with any of these pieces. Thank you Lululemon for sponsoring this video. Let's move on to the next piece. Next, if you haven't noticed already from the B-roll, I got myself a tattoo and a eye slit. DIY. The eye slit was DIY, not the tattoo, obviously. So giving yourself an eye slit is actually really simple. Get yourself some clippers, and I recommend following the curve of your eyebrow. You see how my eyebrow arches a little bit? That curve is kind of where you want to do it, at least for me. I like to think of it like lanes on a highway whenever you merge in, but everyone has different eyebrows, different eyebrow shapes, so give it some thoughts, consult with someone. That's just what I did. I mean, what do you all think of it? I know it's probably corny right now, and everyone has probably already done it already, but I don't really care. Now, my tattoo was actually done from my friend Bethany. I'll show b-roll by the way she's from the shy and i actually met her through the tech work community which is kind of crazy she's got some drip for sure she's very talented definitely check out her work the lettering on my tattoo is in orbesh which is the star wars alphabet plus i've always loved simple line work and geometric shapes and honestly for my first tattoo it didn't really hurt. And this is a bit of a side note, but I've always wanted tattoos. Me and Frugal, when we lived together, we always talked about it all the time on what we'd want to get. But the reason why I haven't gotten tattoos is because I've been in literally tens of thousands of dollars of credit card debt. And I recently just got out of it, thanks to y'all. And I, I'm truly grateful for all the opportunities I've had, you guys supporting the channel. I'm gonna talk about this situation more on my vlog channel. So go subscribe to that channel if you haven't already. I just wanna say, if you've gone through some shits, you've grown up in poverty like I have, you can get out of it with some due diligence, some hard work if i can do it you can do it as well all right now interior design wise these scarf hooks look awesome the simplistic design looks great and can display a scarf very nicely just take a look at how that looks they're only 25 bucks and it's a great way to organize your wardrobe while making your place look a little bit cooler so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel subscribe to my vlog channel and until then stay fly deuces